Hello, this is uh, Dr. Terrence R. Redding for Global Learn Day, uh, associated with the Benjamin Franklin Institute of Global Education. Uh, earlier, I uh, asked myself the question, uh, which came first, uh, the use of stone tools or the use of fire? Was man a user of fire before he was a user of tools? And the answer uh, is that uh, we started using tools uh, long before we uh, managed uh, the use of fire. So when you start looking at the use of tools, you find out that uh, we've used tools almost our entire period of existence, uh, stone tools in particular, uh, that we started using t stone tools maybe uh, 2.4 million years ago by some uh, research, maybe as long ago as 3.4, 3.5 million years ago. We've been using stone tools for a very long, long period of time. And so <clears throat> we call the use of stone tools the Stone Age. And uh, when we start looking at the history of, of, of man and his use of tools in particular, uh, we break it down into three general areas uh, or periods of time, if you will. Uh, the Stone Age uh, and then the Bronze Age when we first started using metal tools and then the Iron Age, <clears throat> when we started manufacturing a more sophisticated uh, metallurgy to create a much harder and more durable uh, metal tools uh, called uh, iron from the Iron Age. And the reason they broke it down this way is pretty simple. Uh, if they start to excavate or explore an ancient site that was occupied by man, the deeper they dig, the farther down into the earth they go, uncovering layers and layers of habitation, uh, the kind of artifacts that they find change. Uh, at the lowest level, uh, if there's a sign of the use of stone tools or the use of tools, scrapings on bones, the uh, <clears throat> preparation of animals for consumption, um, they will find stone tools. And so first we had stone tools. Uh, and then later, uh, if that site continues to be occupied, uh, they start finding uh, bronze tools, metal tools. Uh, they're on top of the stone tools. And then uh, if you persist in your looking at the, the, the dig, the site, uh, and if it continues to be uh, occupied by man for an extended period of time, uh, into the uh, Bronze Age and then the Iron Age, of course, that, that pattern repeats. The, the newest... Uh, the most recent kind of tools used will appear at the top of, or in the uh, shallowest layers of, of the dig of the uh, site that they're exploring. So when they look at the chronology of the Stone Age, <clears throat> they find out that uh, the use of stone tools uh, began, apparently, uh, in Africa, uh, and then uh, the uh, beginning of the Bronze Age actually appears in the Near East. Uh, <clears throat> so that's, uh, that's interesting. And so I, I ask you the question, uh, as I, I like to do, for where you are in the world, uh, for your part of the world, um, what kind of tools were you using uh, when people arrived where you live today? Uh, the history of your people, the history of your learning, the history of your activities. Uh, for me, um, my people came to uh, North America um, maybe uh, only uh, 150 years ago. We were clearly already uh, into the uh, Iron Age and indeed using steel. Uh, manufacturing had already started. Uh, if you trace my genetic material, my DNA, back, uh, you find that uh, I was, uh, my people were in Northern Europe and uh, in the British Isles. Um, and we uh, were using stone tools uh, back then. Uh, if you go all the way back as far as they could take my DNA about 250,000 years ago, it's questionable whether my people were using any tools uh, at all. Uh, we would think they were, but we don't know. Uh, they were certainly uh, in a position to start using fire. So ask yourself the question, and then ask the question about uh, uh, of the educators in your area, or if you're an educator, uh, explore these kind of questions with uh, your students. Uh, <clears throat> make make it a, a question that, that that they ask 
and answer uh, so that they can internalize it and make it personal and uh, make it real. Uh, when did uh, your people arrive and when you arrived to where you currently are, uh, were you uh, in the Stone Age or the Bronze Age or the Iron Age? And if you don't know, then take the time to find out. And if you find out, uh, please share that information with us on Global Learn Day on our Facebook page, uh, the Global Learn Day Facebook page. It would be fascinating to hear from you, to learn about you and uh, your use of tools, whether it was stone, bronze, or iron, or even more modern like it was for me <clears throat> uh, in, in a, a more modern age. It'd be kind of fascinating to know that about you and to have you share that information with all of us uh, during Global Learn Day. So thank you very much. This is uh, Dr. Terrence R. Redding, Education, associated with the Benjamin Franklin Institute of Global Education, celebrating Global Learn Day. Thank you.